fundamental lesson which reinforced our experience in other countries is that public-private partnerships can be effective mechanisms for enhancing the value of underused, unappreciated, or even unknown social, cultural, and economic assets. What we started as one project actually turned into three. Another lesson here was the importance of microfinance and the role it could play in helping residents of this community lift themselves beyond subsistence, enabling them to grow business and upgrade the quality of their living conditions. Ladies and gentlemen, it has indeed been a long and interesting journey of discovery that has brought us to this evening. Many projects continue, and there are no doubt many surprises to come and many lessons to be learned. I look forward to that because this process has been particularly satisfying for me from a very personal perspective. In our excavations and historical investigations, I constantly have been reminded that we were touching the very foundations of my ancestors, the Fatimids, and the pluralistic history and intellectual profile of this city and this country to which they contributed so profoundly. I am very humbled by the opportunity to return to Cairo founded over a thousand years ago by the Fatimid Caliph al muiz to build on that history. 35 generations later, through the work done here by my institutions, it is my prayer that this park will be a continuing contribution to the people of this great city. Thank you. فالمشروع لم يكن مقصورا على نشر الخضرة وإحياء التراث الحضري الذي هو ملك للإنسانية بأسرها بل امتد إلى إحياء البيئة والحفاظ على التراث الحرفي القائم على المهارات المتوارثة والخبرات المتراكمة very, very happy to be here this morning to be able to express to you my warm and deep gratitude for everything that you all have done to make this park become a reality. The existence of the park is proof of brotherhood, proof of aspiration towards moving towards a common goal which was to create in Cairo a place which was beautiful, where all generations could find happiness and peace, where all people from different economic levels could feel comfortable as they perambulate throughout this space. As I look to the future, what is it that you and I would hope for the future of this park? I think, first of all, that it should fill its, fulfill its purpose properly for the people of Cairo, which means maintaining it in a, at a level of standard and quality where everybody will be pleased to come to this space. 
Secondly, that you will contribute your ideas, your thoughts, your requests as to what the park can do for the various people whom it will serve, particularly the people of Darb al-Ahmar. And I want to assure you that until the park is fully developed, the wall fully restored, I will continue to watch over this project like a father watching a child grow up. And one day, this child will walk on its own, with its own decisions, and it will move forwards, determining its own future. Again, thank you for your help and support. Without it, today would not have happened. Thank you.